When it comes to the success rate of A-B testing programs, sometimes we get asked, well, you know, what, what is the success rate? And that's sometimes an uncomfortable question that CROs have to address. Um, ultimately, industries are reporting that, the CRO industry is reporting that we, we are seeing successes between 10 to 15% of tests that are being deployed are actually showing an uplift. Google is reporting 10%, uh, VWO around 15%, and then you have a platform like Optimizely that reports 25%. You know, for anybody that's going to be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a CRO program, that doesn't seem like a great ROI in the end. Uh, and then, you know, ultimately, what are they going to be, are they really going to achieve those results? So, so the question always comes back is, is it worth it for us to actually conduct a CRO program based on these results? So how has the industry respond to some of these, you know, questions that a lot of people have about success rate? Ultimately, what a lot of agencies have done is they've increased the velocity of testing. Well, you know, if 10% of the tests are going to be successful, let's try to launch 500 tests. 50 of those will be successful and that'll be great. But that's kind of ignoring the fact that that's a lot of time and effort spent on actually deploying those tests. The client in the end isn't necessarily very happy because 450 of the tests that were launched weren't successful. And then ultimately, what is actually the learning that we're getting as a result of launching 450 tests? That's a whole lot of tests to be deployed. And then saying that there's any type of learning that's happening as a result seems a little bit questionable to me. So. You know, ultimately, the way that we would approach something like, th like this is we say the, we, you have to dig a little bit deeper. You have these testing programs that, you know, are being conducted and they're doing this research, qualitative research, quantitative research, you know, usability testing, etc., and all these different aspects, but then you get only 10% result. Why is there so much effort and there's really little ROI in the end? And our answer to that is there's, there's not a lot of kind of digging deeper. You have to kind of dig deeper to really understand where the customer is coming from, what their perspective is, uh, you know, understand really analytics more, uh, dig deeper into it to understand where the problems are, uncover those problems in order to produce tests that are meaningful in the end, that always, you know, link back to a specific problem that you've uncovered.